Hey guys, Florent King here. I got a call from a customer uh, who's having a high water bill and wanted me to come check out the pool for possible leak. And so I wanted to come out here because she does have an in-ground autofill and I want to make sure that was working properly. So uh, I found that it wasn't. Uh, look down here. I went ahead and already removed, uh, see how it's constantly on. So what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and turn it off and replace it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so now we got it turned off. You see the corroded part is still is in the side of the autofill. Uh, I went ahead and removed the plunger and the floater as well. Uh, so what we'll need for this product is very um, small. See some channel locks to possibly get the old one out and thread out easily. Some uh, Teflon tape and the new photo assembly. So now we're just going to take our channel locks and go ahead and loosen this. And it should eventually unthread by hand. Out now. Well, so we're just going to keep uh, doing the channel locks until it comes out. Alright, so now we just go ahead and make sure that we clean out this really well, get all the extra Teflon out. And once we do that, we go ahead and take this. I already went ahead and pre threaded it. And now all we just go ahead and do is just uh, screw it in until it uh, tightens up. Alright, so we now we got it threaded in, and just to test to make sure it works, push down on it as if the water level is going down, you hear it filling. So we are good to go. That's how you change a floater assembly on an in-ground autofill. Have a good day, everyone.